So here's the codes. If they apply to you, great. 1001, the refund paper check mailed more than four weeks ago. 1021, BFS part offset check mailed more than four weeks ago. Contact BFS at 1-800-304-3107. 1061, BFS part offset direct deposit more than one week ago. 1081, IRS full or partial offset paper check mailed more than four weeks ago. 1091, IRS full or partial offset direct deposit more than one week ago. 1101, no data. Taxpayer filed paper return more than six weeks ago. 1102, no data. Taxpayer filed the electronic return more than three weeks ago. 1121, problem identified. P, freeze. We've discovered that this is typically a typo on the return. 1141, refund delayed liability on another account. This means you owe a government entity money. 1161, refund delayed. Bankruptcy on account. 1181. Refund delayed. Pulled for review. Not within seven cycles. Conduct account anal analysis. 1201. All other conditions not covered by a status code. Conduct account analysis. 1221. Refund delayed. Pulled for review within seven cycles. Conduct account analysis. 1241. Paper return received more than six weeks ago. In review. Notice for additional information will be received. 1242. Electronic return received more than three weeks ago. E-freeze. In review. Notice for additional information will be received. 1261. Paper return received more than six weeks ago. Q. Freeze. In review. Notice for additional information will be received. 1262. Electronic return received more than three weeks ago. In Q. Freeze. In review, notice for additional information will be received. 1301, fact of filing electronic return received more than three weeks ago. No other information. Return found, not processed. 1341, refund delayed, liability on another account. 1361, refund withheld for part full payment of another tax liability. 1381, refund withheld for part or full payment of another tax liability. 1401, refund withheld for part or full payment of another tax liability. 1421, refund delayed, bankruptcy on account, V, freeze, more than eight weeks. 1441, refund delayed, social security number, ITIN, or name mismatch with SSA or IRS, return posted to invalid segment. 1461, taxpayer has advised their refund check was mailed Undelivered by the Postal Service. Taxpayers provided the option to update their address online. Check account to determine if the taxpayer changed their address online. If address is changed, advise taxpayer their request is being processed. If taxpayer did not change their address, follow instructions. Undeliverable refund checks. 1481. Refund delayed. Return unpostable. 1501. Direct deposit between one and two weeks ago. Check with bank. File check claim. 1502. Direct deposit more than two weeks ago. Check with bank. File check claim. 1521. No data. Paper return. Taxpayer filed more than six weeks ago. TIN not validated. 1522. No data. Taxpayer filed electronic return more than three weeks ago. TIN not validated. 1541. Offset overflow freeze set when offset storage within IDRS is not large enough to hold all generated transactions or credit balance has been completely offset and two or more debt modules still exist. Frivolous return program freeze, 1551. 1561. Excessive credit freeze set when the taxpayer claims fewer credits than are available. 1571. Erroneous refund freeze initiated. 1581. Manual refund freeze with no TC-150 or return is coded CCC-0 and TC-150 posted without TC-840. 2007-2008. Taxpayers checks. 2007-2008. Taxpayer checks returned undeliverable by the Postal Service and taxpayer does not meet internet refund fact of filing, IRFOF eligibility.
For example, account may have an additional liability or a freeze code other than S. Analyze account to take appropriate action. 2009. Taxpayer's check returned undeliverable by the Postal Service and taxpayer does not meet IRFOF eligibility. Taxpayer does not pass disclosure through IRFOF due to lack of data on IRFOF. 2015. Savings bond request denied. Partial offset. More than three weeks from refund date. 2016. Savings bond request denied. Total offset. 2017. Savings bond request allowed. More than three weeks from refund date. 5501. Split direct deposit. Partial offset. More than two weeks from refund date. 5510. Split direct deposit. Returned by the bank. Check mailed with partial offset. 5511. Split direct deposit. Returned by bank. Check mailed. 8001. Paper return tax fire. 8001. Paper return. Taxpayer filed more than six weeks ago. Failed authentication. 8002. Electronic return. Taxpayer filed more than three weeks ago. Failed authentication. 9001. Where's my refund system error? Before you freak out and leave a comment, read the full article on IRS code 9001 and what it really means. 9021. Reference code for all math error conditions, analyze account and follow appropriate IRM. 9002. Sorry. 9022. Math error on return. Direct deposit more than one week ago. Analyze account and follow appropriate IRM. 9023. Math error on return. Refund paper check mailed more than four weeks ago. Analyze account and follow appropriate IRM. 9024. Math error on return. Balance due more than $50. Analyze account and follow appropriate IRM. If you get a reference code on your Where's My Refund and you have a reference code, you should identify the code and see if any action is required. In many cases, no action is required on your part. One of the most common codes is 9001, which as you can see just means you accessed Where's My Refund using a different social security number or TIN. Once the IRS analyzes to ensure no fraud has taken place, you will get your return like normal. If there is an issue, the IRS will typically send you a letter to your mailing address within 90 days stating what the issue was and any additional information required. Remember, if you have any questions, you can contact the IRS directly at 1-800-829-1040. And this is the guy that wrote the article, and so hopefully some of that is helpful to you guys. Um, I know I saw a lot of, I didn't see any tax 152, but I'm not sure uh, where these apply or not, but there's just some uh, IRS tax codes that I found in this article, and it is from November 2020, so it's not even six months old. But I'm John Lee. If you like videos like these, be sure and hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. I'm on to the next one.